Is everyone ready? Is it coffee time already? No, it's time to open the brand. Yep, all branch opening preparations are complete. Uh, no they're not. What are we missing? The Christmas tree! Come on, it's too early. You're freaking me out. I guess it's only a month till Christmas. Oh, I guess that's what I'm trying to know. What about the Rotary Christmas show? Oh right, we're in it this year. Oh, if we're gonna be in the show, we can't have the branch looking like it's mid-July. Yeah, it's not quite festive enough yet. All right, well, I think we know what to do. Let's snap to it. Fantastic! Let's open! I'm so excited! It's amazing! Prospera is proud to open the 2023 Rotary Christmas Show. And welcome to the 2023 Rotary Christmas Show, presented by Prospera Credit Union. What started as an alternative to our annual parade due to the pandemic has quickly transformed into a wonderful new holiday tradition. You're about to enjoy all the best that Chilliwack has to offer in music, comedy, drama, and dance, presented by a group of highly talented local artists and children. The holidays are a time of reflection. We are so lucky to be living in peace in such an idyllic home when there's so much strife in so many parts of the world. There are many places you can give if it's within your means. Some wonderful organizations will be highlighted in our show for your consideration. Enjoy your family and friends this holiday season. And now, please enjoy our show. We were once two white tail deer. It was fight or flight, my dear. One night we lit out for the prairie flying. Past our snowed in Pontiac under the icicles out back. The northern stars above us were dead and dying. We bore down, barely lighting, lifted off eyes wide, frightening, clearing icy banks of snow, no words between us. Running over the winter lawn, gate was open and we were gone. Under our ragged breath, we just prayed that he hadn't seen us. Between the rider and the ridden, we were hiding. He said he loved us, but he loved us not. He called the tune, he called the shots. Well, before too long, I met a man, and he tried to love me as I am, but he never could relieve my worried mind. Yeah, well, he could play a mean guitar But man, we never made it far My note said, sorry, honey I'm the leaving kind Between the rider and the ridden I just kept on hiding Well and truly hidden Said he loved me But he loved me not He played the tune Because I
Well, years between your birth and stone Wear and tear your flesh and bone My friend, you can't outrun your family history And I can never trust myself To be the judge of someone else How I made it 60 years, well, it's a mystery Between the writer and what's written You know the truth is oh so often hidden by what is said and by what is not but now I call the tune now I call the shots yeah and I wrote this tune it's what I've got Merry Christmas from Spider Lodge everybody Happy Holidays! My name is Sarah Van Ruick and this is Lindsay Gannon and we're the managers for Prospero Credit Union serving the Chilliwack community. You will recognize my team as the staff at the Vetter Branch in Sardis. We are grateful to serve many of you in the Chilliwack community and hope to do so for many years to come. In 2023, Prospero Credit Union committed back just over $1 million in the communities we serve. In Chilliwack alone, we contributed to the Bulls of Hope, Chamber of Commerce, Big Red Mental Health Society, International Women's Day Celebration, as well as many others supporting our local communities. It is truly at the heart of everything we do. We are pleased to partner with the Rotary Club for this year's Christmas show. Happy Holidays! From all of us here at Prospera, we wish you a safe and happy holidays and a prosperous new year. Ho, ho, ho! Welcome to the 2023 Rotary Christmas Show. It's presented by Prospera Credit Union. You're going to have a wonderful evening of music, comedy, drama, and dance. Sit back and enjoy all the best talent in Chilliwack. Ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Santa, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me. Uh, the HEP results are in from that analysis we did, and I just got to share the results with you. There are some major finding scores for Kira. Take a look. What in the sprinkled sugar cookies are you talking about, Herbie? Oh, Santa, don't you remember when we realized that Christmas was going to be a little bit leaner due to the economic conditions? You authorized a full audit of our Christmas wish list, you know, to cut the fat, remove any organizations that maybe weren't performing efficiently enough. We called it uh, HEP, or uh, the Kringle High Efficiency Program. Don't you remember? I don't remember saying that. Cut the fat? Oh, not likely. Nice one, Santa. Anyways, the results are in, if you can just take a look. What results? Of the HEP audit, Santa. Stay with me, please. Oh, okay, Henry. What are your findings? Well, things are not perfect, unfortunately, but I have found some particular hot spots in, uh, in Chilliwack, actually. Some of the non-for-profits are just not as efficient as we would like them to be. They didn't score very highly on some of our metrics, so I think our recommendation is just remove them from the list. They're technically not bad, but tough decisions have to be made, and so I think we need to move on from them. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. If you think this is the best way to go, you know, I want you to speak first to the mayor. Get his approval. So, Hermie, get down to Chilliwack right away and meet with him. The mayor of Chilliwack, oh, Santa, I don't have time for this. I mean, we are behind on all of our departments. I still have to report all these HEP results to everyone. It's hopeless. It's just hopeless. Oh, Herbie. You know, Christmas isn't all about numbers and efficiency. These people deserve more. More of a personal touch, don't you think? If you say so, Santa, but I still think this is a complete waste of time. Well, Hermie, I guess we'll see you all. I hope you're enjoying the Rotary Christmas Show. At this special time of year, I wanted to take a moment to wish you the best of the season. Enjoy your family and friends and the great music. It isn't around for too much longer. Merry Christmas!
Hey everybody, it's Ron Plowright from Remax here. 2023 has been such an amazing year for us and as we reflect back on that, we just want to thank our family, friends and clients for all of your support. Once again, we're super excited to be part of the Rotary Christmas Show and to provide support. On behalf of myself, Bob and Heidi, I just want to thank everyone again for your business. Wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year and enjoy the show. This is the Christmas Quiz Show from the North Pole. I'm your quiz master, Cutie Claus, and today we will be joined by Bob and Sparkle. Hi. Hey. We're playing for candy canes, so this is going to be a great time. So, first question, if you add them all up, how many gifts were given in the 12 days of Christmas? 37. Oh, Bob, you need to buzz in. Oh, Sparkle, oh, yeah. over to you. Uh, 364. Attaboy. Perfect. Candy for you. Yes. On to the next question. And what would you expect trying to open a can of soup with a pair of scissors? Now, uh, wait a minute, we, we have some breaking news here. Uh, NORAD is reporting on its radar something moving southward at a significant speed at, at or around the Arctic Circle. And at this point, we have absolutely no idea what it is, but uh, it is moving with breathtaking speed. More after the break. Hello everyone, I'm Natalie, fitness and nutrition coach to Santa and the reindeer. And before you say anything, I want you to know that Santa's on a boat. 
there's no heat in this way, so I work to keep him um, fluffy so he can stay warm and deliver your presents. Anyhow, I'm here with some helpful fitness and lifestyle tips for the Christmas season. Today, let's talk about managing stress. <sighs> Breathing techniques can work wonders. Let's try it. <coughs> oh boy, okay. Um, that one takes a little more practice. Let's try smile therapy instead. See, instant stress relief. Just smile like you've just found out you're on the nice list. Remember folks, a smile a day keeps the stress away. See you next time. Man, do you ever wish that somebody would just take some of these old classic Christmas songs and make them faster and worse and add distorted guitars and strip them of everything that made them great and iconic? No. No one has ever wanted that. Hey, kid, leave Santa. I might think that's a marvelous idea. Okay. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells ring and jingle bells ring. Snow and the blow and the bushes the fun. Now the jingle bell has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell chime and jingle bell chime. Dance in the front and jingle the square. In the frosty air. What a bright time. Hey, Joe Lack, I hope you're enjoying the Rotary Christmas Show. With all the entertainers, singers, actors, they're all Chilliwack people. Have fun, guys, and have a Merry Christmas. Hi, you're watching the Rotary Christmas Show. I'm Kelly Patton, the MLA for Chilliwack Kent, and I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and the most wonderful of New Year's. I'm so proud of the work we've done here in Chilliwack Kent, and I can't wait to see what we all do together next. Merry Christmas. Hi kids, I'm Dr. Blitzen, and with me today is my trusty lab assistant, Rudolf here. We've been asked by Chill TV to add some Christmas science to today's programme to balance out all the kooky fantasy you're seeing on this year's Rotary Christmas show. So let's get started, shall we? First, a question I get asked a lot is how can Santa visit so many homes in only 24 hours? Well, that's a bit involved, so I won't go into the excruciating detail, but suffice it to say that for the three billion or so children he has to leave presents for, he actually has almost 32 hours, so roughly 33% more time than you think. And he's traveling really, really fast. The speed of light if you want to be technical again. Hey, it's no wonder Rudolph and all the other reindeer uh, eat such a huge meal before they leave. Oh, 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 two, two, two. Right. How does Santa get down the chimneys? 
he's so big. There's a related phenomenon called the Lorentz contraction, where the size of an object decreases because the faster it moves. Because Santa is moving so fast, he's able to get in to deliver presents in the tiniest of spaces, even under doors. This is particularly advantageous if you have, don't have a chimney. Well, we'll be back with more intriguing Christmas science facts later on in the programme. Bye from us. You know, I, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, Hermie. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor. There's nothing I can do. Uh, the number's laid out for you quite clearly. Uh, these organizations are not scoring well on our CEP efficiency metrics, and we are not going to be able to deliver them presents this year. Might I remind you, this is coming straight from the big man, Santa himself. I don't care about the numbers, Hermie. These organizations are doing good work. I think you need to go speak with them and deliver the news. If you insist on using this kelp or couch or whatever it's called, well, if it would help, Mr. Mayor, I could explain to you the algorithms used in the HEP analysis, if, if that would be of assistance to you. I think you'll be surprised what kind of difference this will make. Yeah. Wait, what did you say? Oh, nothing. everyone. So, question again. Who played the lead role in the movie Elf? Brad Pitt. Again with the buzzing in, Bob. Over to you, Sparkle. Uh, Will Ferrell. Very good. Yes. On to the next question. No creep for a bed The little Lord Jesus Lay down his sweet head The stars in the bright sky Look down where he lay The little Lord Jesus Asleep on the hay The cow Unlowing, the poor baby wakes, but little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love thee, Lord Jesus, look down from the sky and be by my bedside till morning is nigh. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by me forever, and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in thy tender care, and take me to heaven to live with thee there.
Okay, we are uh, getting lots of reports in from weather stations that there is this uh, strange light streaking across the sky at incredible speeds. Now, we are told that this has, well, nothing to do with the recent spike in sunspot activity, creating the more spectacular Aurora Borealis, or the Northern Lights. Stay tuned to Chill TV for more updates. Uh, well, Ted, thank you very much for taking the time to meet with me. Uh, my name is Hermie. Like I said, I'm here from Santa. Uh, we're here to talk about uh, the Kringle High Efficiency Program, also known as PEP. Um, as you can see here from some of the charts and graphs, uh, Bowls of Hope is you know scoring a little bit low on a few of the efficiency metrics. I'm just wondering if you can help me know where in this kitchen we can be mixing cuts. Oh, uh, well, we can just do it right on the counter here. If you're wanting to help us be more efficient, we'd love to have your help. Oh, I, I su suppose I can make a note of that in the footnotes, but I, I mean, you know, really, where, you know, looking at this, where can we, you know, make some, some, some sharpening of some edges, oh. maybe? Well, if, uh, I mean, if the knives aren't sharp enough for you, I can have them sharpened. Where was that again? Are you so... Wait, you mean cuts? Yeah. Oh, you gotta talk to the big man again, because we feed around a thousand kids a day, which equates to around 18,000 bowls of soup a month and help feed around another 100 plus families through other initiatives. So I'm, I'm willing to talk these numbers with you again, but you gotta, you gotta check with the big man if this is right. Oh, this is, this is, you say 1,800? This doesn't make oh, sense. 18,000. Thousand? Bowls of soup a month, yeah. Oh my goodness, I, this doesn't make sense. The algorithm just it isn't lining up. Hmm. Well, does it account for kindness? It's gonna be harder than I thought. We hope you're enjoying the Rotary Christmas Show, and from all of us at the Show Like Progress, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy Holidays! I crawled back to the top of this bar stool because the one that I once loved dropped my heart when it hit the floor it fell and smashed you Now I'm sitting here all alone, falling apart. Your memory haunts me when the bottle runs dry. Your memory finds me in the middle of the night Lord I wonder why you left me here to cry your memory haunts me at Christmas time Crawled back to the bottom of this bar stool. Another empty bottle stands in defeat. Lord, it hurts to feel your presence in this bar room. Why can't you leave me here 
alone to me your memory haunts me well a bottle runs dry your memory finds me in the middle of the night Lord I wonder why you left me here to cry your memory haunts me at Christmas time your memory haunts me Christmas time. Merry Christmas, folks. Hey, Caleb. I have a great idea. What? Let's go Christmas sledding. Christmas sledding? What? Well, Maybe at the hill. It's hardly uh, the right day for Christmas sledding. There's plenty of snow. Oh, you want to go? Okay, well, Eli says he wants to go, so I guess we'll meet you there. It doesn't look snowy enough, though. Hey, Caleb. All right. He says yes. Oh. We're going to go. OK, we'll meet you at the bottom or the top? What? I didn't hear you. The bottom or the top? Well, I lost him, but I guess we'll go meet him at the hill. I don't know about this, though. Doesn't look great for sledding. Let's go get dressed. Okay. Who's that guy? Caleb? He said, meet me at the hill. There's plenty of snow. I don't see any snow. Eli, you think there's going to be enough snow? Yes. Do you want to, do you want to test it out? OK, I'll pull us up, and maybe Caleb will meet us up at the top. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you like this? I'll pull you up, and then I'll pull you down, OK? You want to get up? Caleb? Where'd that kid go? This is his sleigh. Well, Merry Christmas from the Caleb Dankworths. Hopefully I see him later today. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Jingle all the way. Hey, Caleb. Sorry we missed you guys today. Uh, banner day on the mountain. Oh, wait. Did I say I'd meet you on the hill or the mountain? Caleb. Ah. Uh, lots of snow, and someone was handing out free cocoa and Christmas cake. I'm stuffed. Oh, wait, Santa just got here. Hi, Santa. Is that a new sack? Oh, he's carrying a huge sack of gifts that says, um, for the Caleb's. Oh, neat. Oh, gotta go. Hope you had a great day. Bye-bye now. Merry Christmas, Mr. Dankworth. <laughs>
Welcome back, everyone. We hope you're enjoying the lovely performances. Now, let's get back to the real world and continue digging into some Christmas science facts. Now, we've all heard the song, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and the line, had a very shiny nose. Now, you probably ask yourself, how can that be? Well, we can thank Dr. Charles Darwin and evolution for that one. Evolution means that as Santa's journeys got bigger with increasing world populations and much more night travel in inclement weather, this meant that the reindeer that were born with shiny noses were favoured by Santa to be selected to pull his sleigh. Look, this isn't just me talking, it's science. Okay, let's get on with the show. Ho, ho, ho! Oh, wait, that's Santa's line. Anyways, it's time for another Elf Fitness Tip. Today, let's talk about increasing your daily steps over the holidays. It's easier than you think. You know, I even gave Santa some advice. Instead of parking the sleigh on the roof, I suggested he parked it on the lawn. That way, he gets extra steps climbing up and down. Genius idea, I know. Santa isn't always so, um, jolly. <laughs> Every year, right after Christmas, we start his fat loss routine. He's super buff most of the year. His daily steps make a big difference, and they will for you too. So whether you're walking to the mailbox or dancing around the Christmas tree, every step counts. Let's slay this holiday season together. She's hot. Happy holidays from Jeff at Tract Grease. Um, thanks to Chill TV for putting this on. And uh, the holidays includes New Year's, so I thought of everybody in a fresh start and uh, starting over. This one's called Where Do I Have to Sign Up? It's written by a good friend of mine, Jay Gavin. And uh, here we go. I've been thinking about trying to be a better man. Most days I don't know just what that means. Believe me, well, I understand. Things gotta change between you and me. Tell me, where do I have to sign up to start over? Cause lately, I think I could use different plan Tell me where do I have to sign up to start over again Sometimes the weight of the world is too much for one man You know falling stops feeling like flying Lower I get And the closer I get to the ground The more I regret Over and over and over Expecting a change And if you need me I'll still be right here Going insane Tell me where do I have to sign up to start over Cause lately I think I could use a different plan Tell me where do I have to sign up to start over again Sometimes the weight of the world is too much for one man You know, darling, I've been trying to be a 
a better man But most days I don't even know Just who I am And I know you're tired Things gotta change between you and me. Tell me where do I have to sign up to start over? Cause lately I think I can use a different plan. Tell me where do I have to sign up to start over again? Cause sometimes the weight of the world too much for one man. Yes, sometimes the weight of the world is too much for one man. You're watching the 2023 Rotary Christmas Show, presented by Prosper Credit Union. Hey, children, get those letters to me. I need them real quick.
everyone. On behalf of Stream Foundation, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you've given us throughout the year. We have a lot more exciting opportunities in the next year and I want to say thank you to all of those who supported and then uh, we're excited to go into the new year with a new program. On behalf of Stream Foundation Canada, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Okay, so anytime you're ready. Okay, maybe on three. That was unintelligible. Okay. One, two, three. Alrighty, how about this one? Which Christmas movie features the character John McClane fighting terrorists in a Los Angeles skyscraper on Christmas Eve? Oh, uh, Jaws 3, wasn't it? <sighs> Did you buzz in, Bob? Oh. Did you? <laughs> Sparkle, you got this one? Uh, would that be Die Hard? Yes, very controversial, but yes, it is a Christmas movie. Yes! On to Christmas the next question. Movie. Christmas. There's no way he can cut back on the Chilliwack Hospice Society. We, we help a lot of people at this time of year. Christmas is such a happy time, but for some people it's sad. They're missing someone and they really want some support from us. And I mean, I know you're a numbers guy. I'm gonna tell you, we help hundreds of people every year at this time of year. And we really need Santa's support. Well, I have another one that I, I don't know. I, Thank you very much for sharing that with us. Just, just know that we love you, Hermie, and we know you'll do the right thing, and you'll talk to Santa, and you tell him we love him too. Thanks, Miss Nod. I, I really appreciate it. I'm, I'll, thank you, thank you. I gotta crunch some more numbers here. That's a good idea. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nick would soon be there. Then what to my wondering eye should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. Down the chimney he came with a leaf and bond. He was dressed in all fur. His belly was round. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings and returned with a journey. And laying his finger aside up of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rode. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to all and all a good night. Breaking in on this year's Rotary Christmas show. Hello, everyone. Chill TV is continuing its coverage of what we are now calling a stratospheric event. From confirmed reports we're getting, there is a streaking red light crisscrossing the northern sky at a velocity that, well, we're not able to measure yet. It's simply too fast. Uh, on, on the one hand, breathtaking it appears to be. On the other hand, we're a little concerned as we have not been able to identify the cause of this stratospheric event. We'll keep an eye on this and break in with more updates as they occur. I've heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do you? It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the major fall and the final lift, the baffled king composing, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Maybe there's a God above And all I ever learned from love Was how to shoot somebody who would prove me It's not a crime that you hear tonight It's not somebody who's seen the light It's a cold and it's a broken Hallelujah Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 
People have been here before I know this room and I walk this floor I used to live alone before I knew you I've seen your flag on the marble arch And love is not a victory march It's a cold and it's a broken Hallelujah 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Welcome back. Here's a very interesting holiday tidbit, and for that we're going to space. On December the 16th, 1965, during the Gemini 6 mission, a UFO was spotted on the radar screen orbiting the Earth. That is fact. It was emitting a strange noise, which was believed to be music. Upon further sound wave analysis, it was determined it was actually the song Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, which I assume you've all heard. I will say this, we have no evidence of what that was actually on the screen. 
The speculation though is that it was Santa doing a test run of his brand new sleigh. And with Rudolph on his very first Santa mission, if that's true, we know it turned out to be very, very successful. Well, Warren, I don't know what to tell you. There is so much food in here and I don't see any way you guys are gonna be using all this. I have to make cuts somewhere and I think you guys are gonna be it. I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I, I don't think you could do that. We serve so many people with all this food. We have a hamper program that does 1,200 food hampers a month. And that amounts to about 4,000 people. And then we also do Christmas hampers next month. That's another 1,500 hampers, which is probably another 4,000 people. And then our pantry program, which serves 200 people every day. A day? A day. That's another 4,000 people. So that's like 12,000 people we serve a month out of this food. So all of this food has, is going to a family. In fact, I can tell you, as cool as it looks, all of this food will be gone in 60 days. What am I supposed to do? The numbers don't make sense. I've talked to three different charities today and I'm trying to crunch numbers and Santa says you need to make cuts and I just, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I think you just need to go have a talk with Santa. Think so? You know what, I think, I think you're right. Thanks. Okay, here we go. In what country is, a tr is it a tradition to dress up as Santa Claus and go for a swim on Christmas Day? Mm. Oh yeah, Puerto Rico? Bob, you got a buzz, dude. Oh, okay. Bob, okay, Sparkle, any answer? Uh, my guess is Australia. You are a genius elf, very good. Yeah! Genius. On to the next question.
Welcome back, my merry little friends. Today, let's talk about making good nutritional choices during the holidays. It's all about balance. You see, this little guy here, the gingerbread cookie. Not the best protein choice, but you know what is? My eggnog protein shake. It's creamy, delicious, and packed with protein. So remember folks, it's okay to indulge in some holiday treats, but let's make sure we're getting our protein fixed too. I recommend having protein with each meal. Protein helps you build lean muscle, also keeps you feeling fuller for longer, avoiding um, snacks a bit. Maybe you could make some protein cookies to leave out for Santa this year. And don't forget to include a protein packed fresh glass of milk. Cheers to a healthy and jolly holiday season.
All right, everyone, via satellite phone, we have Gunter Weisacre from Chill TV's sister office in uh, Weisbaden, Germany, who is an eyewitness to this stratospheric event. Gunter, uh, tell us what you saw. Uh, thank you, Don. Actually, it's pronounced Weisacre. Well, like everyone is saying, it's a streaking red light, all right. Oh, wow. That, that is simply just so uh, wow. Yeah, indeed. It is a breathtaking. A little scary, if I'm being truthful. Uh, stunning. Okay, um, uh, anything else you can tell us? Did you hear anything? Yes, yes, I did. Oh, okay, great. And now, what was it that you heard? What, what was it that I heard? Yeah, yes, what? What did you hear? Well, something unearthly, really. I've never heard it before. Laughter of a type. R really? Oh, oh, my gosh. What did it sound like? Well, it was sort of... I'll try and replicate. Yeah, yes, do, if you can. Please, please. All, all right, then. It was something like... Oh, oh, oh. Ho, ho, ho. Yes, yes, exactly that. I'm curious how you got that done. Some of my favorite parts of the holiday season are decorating trees and wrapping presents, big or small. And we got a really big one for the JR family this year. It took a lot of paper and it wouldn't stop wiggling, so I'm real glad Ruby was here to help me. Merry Christmas from 895 JR Country! 895 JR Country. Welcome back. Sparkle, you are racking up the points. You have a bucket of candy already. Awesome. Got a bucket Bob, already. you're going to go hungry. What? Okay. What two things made red and green popular for Christmas colors? Was it Coca-Cola and poinsettias? Was it the New Jersey Devils hockey team? Or was it Evergreen Boughs and candy canes? Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, the, that's the New Jersey Devils, huh? 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 Oh boy, huh? Bob. What? Anything sparkle? Is it the Coca-Cola and the uh, the first option? Yes, you've got it. Perfect again. Oh, the candy. Goodness. It's building Ooh. up. You're gonna That's get cavities. Wrong with the Coke. On to the next question.
Welcome back. Great to see you all still here. It's been a great show, hasn't it? Well, I'm sure you're all very excited about Christmas this year. It's right around the corner. One final Christmas science fact. The cookies and the milk for Santa. Is this really necessary? The short answer is yes. You already know from our first segment how fast that sleigh is going. It takes a lot of energy. That energy comes from the home-baked goodness of the cookies. An amazing amount of energy is stored in each one. And what is the milk for then, you ask? Well, it's more than just Santa gets thirsty, or you could leave a glass of juice. No, the milk specifically has protein, which balances with the sugar in the cookies so that Santa doesn't get jittery. Goodness knows the elves aren't drinking enough milk. That's why they're always bouncing off the walls. But, but I digress. Well, I hope you've enjoyed their holiday science moments on behalf of Rudolphia and myself. I want to wish you the merriest of Christmases now. Back to the show. Hey, Mr. Britson, how come you didn't let me say anything? Hmm. Merry Christmas, kids. That's Dr. Blitzen. Santa, Santa, Santa. Harvey, you look a wreck. What's your resolve? Wait, are you are you still sitting there? Of course. Well, Harvey, what are your findings? Santa, we just can't do it. We can't take these great organizations off our list this year. Really? And why does that hurt me? Hey, you never wanted me to take them off the list, did you? Hermie, you're always one of my brightest selves. You're right, I didn't. You just wanted me to learn it all on my own, didn't you? And what looks like you did, Hermie. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, Santa. And Merry Christmas to us all. Welcome back. We're down to the last question. Sparkle has racked up a lot of candy. Bob could still come in there and, and steal it all with this final question, but we doubt it. So good luck, Sparkle. Here we go. Thank Are you. Are you ready, boys? Mm. I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. What was the biggest Christmas gift ever sent? Statue of Liberty. Bob, very good. You're, you're correct, Bob. That, that means you get all the candy. So sorry, Sparkle. <laughs> Nothing for you this week. Oh. Oh. Uh, I, thank you. Thanks for joining us this week. Stay tuned next week for another Christmas quiz show. Well, that's all, folks. Wishing you and your family the happiest and healthiest of the holiday season and a very prosperous 2024. Merry Christmas from Chill TV. Hey, thanks for watching the 2023 Rotary Christmas Show presented by Prosper Credit Union. Hope you all had fun. Hey, and I'm going to see you all next week at the Rotary Christmas Parade. Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho!
Wish the rest of the year was late.